wonderful to be here in this beautiful city. It was so gracious, so hospitable. We had a wonderful convention. High praise from Hillary. The historic candidate applauds Philadelphia, speaking only to Eyewitness News about the city's success in hosting the DNC. Eyewitness News caught up with Clinton as she left Temple University. Good evening, everyone. I'm Yuki Washington. And I'm Jessica Dean. She's now speaking at an event in Hatfield. That's where Eyewitness News reporter Greg Argos is right now with more. Greg. Good evening there, Jessica and Yuki. In fact, uh, Hillary Clinton and her running mate Tim Kaine just left this factory here in Hatfield just a few minutes ago. They wrapped up that speaking engagement here. This factory here makes toys. They make connects and Lincoln logs. The very important stop for Hillary Clinton and Tim Kaine, of course, because the focus of this bus tour, which began around one in the afternoon at Temple University, is all about jobs. We want to show you some of that video. A crowd of around 3,000 people gathered to hear uh, the first female presidential candidate of a major party speak along with Tim Kaine this afternoon uh, at Temple University. There she was talking about those jobs. She says if elected within the first 100 days in office, she will pledge the most money ever towards jobs and the American uh, worker since World War II. Take a listen as to what she had to say. I'm not satisfied with the status quo. I'm not telling you that everything is just peachy keen. I'm telling you, we've made progress, but we have work to do if we're going to make sure everybody is included. We've got to have more good jobs. We've got to raise wages. We've got to tackle inequality. We've got to make this economy work for everyone, not just those at the top. Now, as Hillary Clinton was leaving that event there in Temple around 1 o'clock this afternoon, I was able to speak exclusively with her. I asked her about the city of Philadelphia. It means a lot, of course, the birthplace of our country, but also the place where she was nominated as the first female candidate of a major political party. Take a listen as to what she had to say about Philadelphia. Let's talk about Philadelphia. Well, you know, my son-in-law grew up in Philadelphia, and so... He came from a big family, and I have lots of friends from Philadelphia. I've loved coming to Philadelphia over the years, and it was just so wonderful to be here in this beautiful city. It was so gracious, so hospitable. We had a wonderful convention. Of course, the focus of this bus tour through Pennsylvania and Ohio is all about jobs, according to cam the campaign and campaign spokespeople. However, there is a very recent poll that was just released. Suffolk University mentioning that Hillary Clinton right now is at 50% in Pennsylvania, Trump at 41, a nine point margin there. 8% undivided. So that is, of course, why the Clinton campaign has decided to stay here a few extra days after the DNC to sort of push that message and persuade that 8% that is undecided to vote for Clinton. She is now headed to Harrisburg for an event at 830. We're live here in Montgomery County. I'm Greg Argos, CBS3 Eyewitness News. All right, Greg, thanks so much.